Well, this has turned into quite the epic little build, hasn't it? But never mind. So I'm just going to run round all the external edges with my little friend here, McTavish, and put some roundovers on once I've sorted out my cable nightmare. And then we'll move to the finish. Get it? Double entendre. I'm sorry, I misled you. I need to cut these little supports. Sha. So while the glue's drying on the front supports, I thought I would glue the French cleat on the back, glue and screw. So the bottom of my wall rail is about 85 mil beneath the top of the cabinet shelf, whatever word we're going to use to describe it. But I don't want to allow enough room down, I don't want to drop the wall rail down so that I can hook it in over the top, I'm going to slide it in from the end. So I'm coming down 90 mil from the bottom of the unit. Regardless of whether the unit's level or not, it's important that the shelf appears parallel with the unit so it all looks level. So I had a couple of spare cleats that I'd already cut, so I've decided to put them all and put them on the wall as well for good measure. So I was now here thinking four screws with all that weight on it. So now we'll have six. So here's a little tip. If you have your screws projecting just a fracco, then you can catch them in the support to help stabilize it while you get it in position. You can also make it difficult to 
were harder to move. But it helps. That one's good. So spot of finish before I fit the chargers and fit the unit to the wall and this is always my first choice for any sort of workshop project and many other projects polyvine heavy duty floor varnish I've got them on doors in the house and it's absolutely fantastic water soluble so easy to clean up afterwards goes on lovely touch dry in half an hour In fact, on a unit such as this, it will be dry enough to sand and recoat in half an hour or thereabouts if you want to push your luck, like I do. finish is dry it's had two coats and it's come out beautifully very happy with that it's well protected so now I'm on to locating the battery drivers and this has a little note at the back saying that these two slots need to be 83 mils apart and I concur so this is going to be quite fiddly and take a little time so I've got to measure each one locate the screws and then quite possibly with some of them put a little piece of something up the top to stop them sliding up seems high which class is this? I'm not going to have an issue. So round to the underside for cable management and I've got this six-way power distribution box this is one that is made to fit a comms cabinet 19 inch rack and I chose this because it's got these brackets on the side which makes it great for fixing the stuff as opposed to the standard trailing leads you buy that just have the screw hooks in the back that 
aren't always appropriate. So I'm just putting some bracketry on the ends so I can secure it to the underside. This doesn't have to be um, elegant at all. I'm going to keep it close to this edge so that if needs be I can reach underneath and turn it off and on. So I am almost done. Well, I think we're finally ready to put her on the wall. I'll just organize a little crane hire and we'll get to it. chargers are all nicely fixed in place so I can grab a battery, drop it in and sit here with a cup of tea and slice of cake and watch it charge. Well probably not but you get the idea. They all come out nicely. I've got my drills all lined up in front of me and I can see the bits. Fabulous. Well chuffed. Oh look there's the new Festool. And I've even got my 25 pound Aldi out. I've got my USB charging at the end here. Kind of gets messy with all the cables, but I might buy some shorter ones. I've got a multi-point USB charger there, my camera, my GoPro, my accessories, and my bits. But it is with a saddened heart that I must now tell you this epic adventure must come to an end and we must all go our separate ways shed a tear i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up if you didn't well don't give us a thumbs up give us a comment and let me know why and if you really enjoyed it perhaps a subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time ta -ra.